resist the temptation to drive. You're tucking your chin down a bit too much. Let your neck be nice and free. Good. That's lovely. That's really nice. You do what you like about changing reins and all that sort of thing. I'm just interested really in that general posture. That looks much better. For you, resisting putting your chin down is important because it braces the back of your neck when you do. Do you, do you understand what I mean there? Yeah. And then you create a stiffness in the back of your occipital joint, which will go down your back and basically into her. Keep that length right through the back of the thighs. Back of the thighs to the back of the knees got to get longer and longer and longer. So those muscles don't pull up into your pelvis. They've actually got to go the other way, which seems quite illogical and really is quite illogical, but it doesn't matter. That's the direction that you've got to work with. That's good. How does that feel? Feels fine, it feels good. Good. Okay, well, before she goes to sleep again, let's get her cantering on the other rein. Take the time. Don't rush. Don't worry about the transition. More attention to the length. The transition will happen. That's it. Lovely length. Don't push forward and watch your chin. That's the one. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Good. Very nice. Now she knows you mean business now. Keep the length, Joe. Don't worry about transition. Just keep the length. Good. That's very nice. Keep the length. Watch the back of your neck. Watch the back of your neck. Well done. Well done. Well done. Very nice. Take your time, don't worry. Lift your chin, lift your chin. Good, good, good. That's very nice. Good. Let those legs be lovely and long. That's lovely, Joe. That's very, very nice. How does she feel? See, that is nice movement. When you see her leggies on here, you'll like that. Good. Watch the chin. Don't brace your neck back. That's the one. That's going to feel very weird, that is. 